If you drove by the Rochester airport today, you may have thought there was some big explosion and complete chaos, but there was no cause for concern. The airport was conducting their emergency drill today, so everything was under control. Good evening, I'm Christine Van Timmeren. Airport officials say this is the largest drill they've ever conducted, and they made it seem as real as possible, all in an effort to make sure they are prepared for the worst-case scenario. And Joangel Concepcion has been following the story today. She joins us live in the newsroom. Joangel. Christine, the big question today was what if? What if there was an emergency situation at the airport? Are emergency crews and airport officials ready? Well, the director of aviation says yes, and today the airport made sure everyone, from EMS to firefighters to even local hospitals, were all on the same page. Now, the drill was as close as it gets to a real-life emergency. The airport has not had a major catastrophe, but airport officials say they still want to be prepared for anything. More than 150 volunteers and emergency crews spent most of the day simulating a large-scale catastrophe. Officials say the most important thing was to make this drill as real as possible and to communicate. They even set a bus on fire and volunteers even had fake injuries. The, the drill was FAA mandated and officials call it an overall success. They want the community to know that they're ready for anything. We also need to educate the public that this could happen, but that we're prepared to, to handle the disaster. And then see, also the drill is important for us to learn from the drill so that we can make our procedures better. But it is a community effort. And the airport has had drills before, but nothing on this scale. The airport will simulate an emergency scenario like this every three years. Christine? All right, good to know. Joe Angel Concepcion live in our newsroom with that report. Thank you.